So I picked up a custom bowling ball, and for that, I picked up a bowling ball bag. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked up this bowling ball bag because I wanted to get my own bowling ball. I was tired and frustrated with always picking out a bowling ball that wasn't quite the perfect fit for me. And so I picked up this custom bowling ball. Now, transporting a bowling ball from your house to your car to the bowling alley and back again can be a little bit of a pain. So I thought I would get my own little bowling ball bag for it. Now you have seen ball carriers that kind of look like rollerboard baggage for airplanes, but I'm only gonna be carrying one ball. And so I picked this up because it was inexpensive and it looked like it was pretty good. First of all, you have a nylon material here. It seems pretty robust. I'm not sure that I would call this Cordura. It seems maybe a little bit thinner than that, but it seems like it's pretty stiff. It has a pretty good size to it. First of all, inside here, I have a shoulder strap with a plastic shoulder pad right there. It's adjustable. The clips on the side are plastic, but they seem pretty robust. So those will go on the D-rings right here on the side. So you can certainly carry this over the shoulder, which will make it that much more portable. You have handles here. They are just nylon. On this side, we have a little Velcro strap so that you can cinch them together. They are actually pretty big. I'd say this is about eight or nine inches tall. A pretty decent sized handle there. Now also inside we get this little foam platform so that this will sit underneath the bowling ball and keep it steady and keep it from sliding around too much. So that'll go right on the bottom and give the bag just a little bit of shape. You can see the logo on the front here. And so, I don't know, some guys use braces and wrist things. Some people have little bowling accessories that they can put in right there. That's pretty clever. Now on the outside here is also where I was pretty insistent on having a big pocket and this is for bowling shoes. And so I think you're gonna be able to fit a pair of shoes right in there without a problem for a lot of people that have their own bowling balls. They also have their own shoes so they don't have to rent them. It's for cost savings and avoiding fun guy. And what I also like right there is there's this little grommet, a perforated grommet there so that this pocket is slightly vented. So when you put shoes back in there, they're not trapped in there. It should exchange the air, let them dry out. So that's pretty clever. Now I will show you a flap here to cover up the bag. But if I just take my 10 pound bowling ball like that, drop it in there, man, we've got a lot of extra space so I can put in some other stuff in there. But now I could just close this bad boy up and head off to the bowling alley. If you want to pick up this inexpensive bowling ball bag for your balls and shoes, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.